All right, hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this one, I want to talk about one of the biggest lies that I see going around the SMMA uh, space or the coaching space or really just in general like the online business, sell your knowledge, sell a service space, whatever that might be. I figured SMMA is a good way to sum it up. But, uh, you know, I get to work with a lot of people who are scaling their businesses. We've created $2 million a year business owners uh, from scratch, which is incredible to get to say. Uh, but that being said, you know, one of the things that I've observed as I've helped these people grow is, you know, um, one of the, really what I've, what I've observed, actually, honestly, when they were just getting started with me more than anything, was that there was this sense that they had to figure out the right way to do things or that specifically they had to figure out the right way to get clients. Like that there's one good way, like that cold email or cold call or, you know, uh, Facebook groups is best or whatever it is. Uh, but as I've grown my business, as an adult, I've matured. I've realized that it's more important that you know, don't just have the right strategies, but that you actually know when to use which strategy. And not only that, but what your numbers are of each strategy. Because at the end of the day, every strategy really holds three variables. It's traffic, leads, and conversions, right? Traffic is how many eyes the strategy gets you. Leads is how many people respond, you know, that start a conversation or that you have their information so you could follow up with them in some way. And conversions are obviously people that buy. So really, no matter what you're doing, whether it's cold email, cold calling, building a YouTube channel, starting a podcast, and even if it's like, gosh, I don't know, public speaking and pitching at events or whatever it is, you've got to know, let me just turn off my... Uh, Facebook there, you've got to know the numbers. You've got to know how, ma how many eyes you need in order to get a sale. Because if you know how many eyes you need in order to get a lead, you know how many leads it takes to make a sale, you know what it takes to grow your business at the end of the day. So that being said, you know, we help a lot of people grow their business to that next level. We help a lot of people take what already exists and scale it up, or we take beginners and help them get started properly. So if you are ready to get help, schedule your call one-to-one -one with myself or our team. We'll see if you're a good fit. We'll talk to you over Zoom and just ask you very honest and open questions and get a feel for where you're at. And if it makes sense, show you how we help our clients and what sorts of transformational things we do inside of our seven-figure systems and six-figure systems communities. So that being said, let's, let's kind of get back to the video here because my point ultimately is that no matter what you're doing with your business, whether it's cold call, cold email, uh, whatever platform it is that you have, you have to know your numbers. So I used to teach methods. I used to say, hey, you know, stop cold calling because obviously building a funnel is better. Oh, hey, you know, stop building a funnel because Facebook groups is easier. It's, it's much more simple. Or stop using Facebook groups because, you know, LinkedIn is the best. Or, you know, but the problem with all of those conversations is that they all ignore the simple idea that as long as you know your numbers, literally anything can work. So let me tell you a story about my business. And as I've scaled my business, you know, how I've applied this to arrive at a point now where you know we are currently it is January 12th and we've already done over fifty thousand dollars in sales this month for the business which is incredible um, we should have our first hundred thousand dollar month this month uh, so long as we keep the momentum going and uh, we push as hard as we've been pushing so let me tell you uh, you know what I've learned um, when I was first starting I looked online constantly for you know the best method I always looked for you know, who had the best method? Who could teach me how to prospect the best? Or is it email or is it cold call? Or is it, you know, Facebook ads? Is it YouTube ads? Is it Google ads? What type of ads are the best? But as I matured, you know, you know back when I was at that stage, let me start there. What the problem became was I would try one thing and then I would let it go for about a week and then I would stop it because, you know, it wasn't working. So I said, okay, that clearly doesn't work, so let's turn that off because I don't want to keep doing that because it, it's clearly not working and it's just going to keep either like draining my bank account if it was ads or draining my energy if it was like manual or something like that. So I said, okay, that's not working, so let me go on to move something else. But what started to happen, I started to notice I'd like drained every single possible way of getting clients that I'd learned. And so I, the first thought that came to my mind was, okay, so if I've drained every single possible way to get clients that I've learned from courses and stuff like that, then maybe like what they're teaching me doesn't work and maybe this is all just a scam. And this is where most people stop. Most people, honestly, they get like a 647 or 997 program or something like that. 
uh, you know, just from some guy out there with like a make money online offer or something. And then they get into it and then they try and get results with it and they just kind of hop around from strategy to strategy. And they've got like six different coaches in the program telling you to do diff six different types of outreach strategies. And they keep telling you that the one that they have is the perfect one and it's the one that's going to get you to that next level. But what nobody seems to tell you is that literally any strategy works. Any strategy works. LinkedIn, cold email, cold call, webinar funnel, VSL funnel, Facebook, YouTube ads, Google ads, Facebook organic, Facebook groups, Facebook paid, uh, Instagram, Instagram ads, swipe up ads, feed ads, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the numbers. You have to know the numbers. Uh, I had a call recently with one of our Seven Figure Systems clients. When you join, you know, you get some time with myself to make sure that you get the most out of your investment, right? So I'll, I'll hop on these calls and see where somebody's at. And this guy said, hey, you know, I'm trying to charge 5000 a month instead of 3000 a month. And I'm not really sure if I could do that or if I'd lose money doing that. You know, what he really said verbatim was, if I charge $5,000 for this, I know that I will not make as much money as I make if I charge three. And I said, do you know that? He says, he says I said, how do you know that? And he says, well... I know my market and I, I, could, I could tell that they wouldn't be able to pay five. I said, have you tried to charge five? And he said, no, I haven't. I said, okay, so what's your closing rate with three? He said, my closing rate is 30%. I said, what do you project it could be with 5,000? And he said, it could probably be maybe half. I said, okay, so you are halving your, and this is just his projection. More than likely, he's not going to lose by the way, any sales. So I told him that first. I said, more than likely, you're not going to lose any sales if you go from 3000 to 5000 But let me tell you this, because if somebody can afford 3000 a month, an extra $2,000 isn't much. Honestly, once you get into that multiple four-figure range, people, 3000 7000 is almost no difference. Like, honestly, that's that's what I've seen in my business. If somebody can afford 3000 they can afford five, they can afford seven, and more than likely, they can even afford 10 if you have the right offer, okay? But that being said, uh, you know, if somebody's, he, he said he can't charge five. So I said, okay, let's say your conversion rate halves. You, you half your sales. You go from closing three clients a week to you close 1.5 a week. Okay, so you start locking in, you know, $1,000 a month less in revenue. But let's look at your time, I said. Let's, let's assume your closing rate halves. But you've now opened up your time to prospect more, haven't you? Like to take more calls. He's like, yes, I, I definitely have. And I said, okay, you also opened up your time to bring on team members, right? And he said, yes, okay, I have. And I said, you also opened up your time to build an offer that is worth maybe $10,000 for your niche that you could start selling to them too, right? And he's like, yes, I have. So I'm like, so really, if you were to charge 5,000, even if you were to have your closing rate, it's not that big of a problem if you look at the math of the entire situation, right? And that's when it clicked for me. He realized he can't make emotional decisions. He can't assume he knows what does and what doesn't work. So he said, all right, I'm going to charge five. And now he's charging five. And though he's making slightly less money, he now is prospecting way more. And then in the coming weeks, now that he's gotten our help, he's realizing that he's going to be able to make way more money because he can scale way further at a $5,000 price tag than he can at a 3000 because he doesn't have to do as much work with as many clients. Plus, it gives them time to prospect, work on the business instead of in the business, which means develop the offers, build the team, look at the systems, everything like that, and make sure that everything works. And, you know, he's just got, he's just got way more mental and emotional freedom to make better decisions, right? So hopefully you get my point. That's kind of a weird way of making it, but hopefully that makes sense that the math matters more than your intuition. Your intuition will never guide you. I, I guarantee it. Do not trust intuition. Don't, because your intuition will always, always pull you in, in a direction that you, you think it's logical, you think it makes sense, but it almost never does. It almost never does. Intuition, you know, our rationality, we are not rational beings. Humans are not rational creatures. We don't operate anywhere near as rationally as we might think we do. So when you're trying an outreach method, when you're trying to prospect clients, when you're saying this isn't working or you know what Trey showed me or what this guy showed me or what whoever showed me isn't working, make sure that A, you've done it for at least 60 days consecutively every single day, doing it the way that they showed you to do and that you've tracked the numbers. You've made sure that you've done it the way that they told you to do it, you've tracked the numbers and that there's no obvious problems with the numbers. So like, let's say that somebody's telling you to cold call, which I don't teach cold calling because it doesn't scale that well. But let's, somebody say, let's say somebody says, send 50 cold calls a day and I guarantee you you'll get a client. You've done it for 30 days and you haven't gotten a client. Well, have you followed it the way that they told you to do it? First of all, if yes, okay, we need to look at the next thing. 
have you been tracking your numbers? Have you tracked how many calls you've gotten, how, what your close rate is, and how, how many have said no out of the amount that you've gotten? Obviously, you've gotten no clients at a 100% no rate, but have you tracked why they've said no and adjusted? You know, have you made the adjustments based on the data? If you start making noise and pushing out and doing marketing, your market's going to tell you what to change in your process. This is something people don't understand. The, the no's that you get will guide you to make better decisions for your offer, for your marketing process, or whatever it may be. So this is the big SMMA lie. The idea that one method or one strategy will take you to that next level. I guarantee you there's no one strategy or no method that will do it. The only thing that will do it is knowing your numbers. And actually, it's funny that I say this. It's, it's almost like I'm saying the same message I said in another video that I made. It's called Why I Ignore Advanced Strategies at $100,000 a Month. And, uh, you know, it's literally pretty much the exact same point, but just framed it differently by saying the big lie that you've been told, because this is a lie. You know, big marketers, they say, we have the way to get clients. It, it comes from this idea that clients are scarce. So because clients are scarce, you need the right method, right? Because obviously, since there's not that many clients to go around, you need to know exactly how to do it. Otherwise, you're never going to get clients, right? But that's not true. There are literally millions of clients, and not only are there tons of clients, but every time somebody sells a client, another client is created. It's just how the market works. Like the market grows and grows and grows, and you know markets grow like candlelight, not cake. It's not like there's only so much to go around, and if somebody takes their slice, that slice is gone. It's more like when somebody takes a slice, that slice reappears on the cake, and then the cake gets bigger. You can light somebody else's candle with your flame, and your flame doesn't burn any less hot when you've done that. Markets grow like that. There's opportunity as more people grow. This is what people don't understand. So as my business grows, some other people's, like our clients' businesses, they'll grow and they'll start to become more wealthy and then their clients will become more wealthy. And it's just like, it just goes up and up and up and up like that. And so this idea that clients are scarce is the core idea behind looking for the right strategy. So if you can remember two things. One, that clients absolutely are not scarce. There's so many clients to go around that you're actually less in the truth by thinking that you need to scramble and hustle to get clients than you would be if you understand that once you build systems that clients will come and that it's extremely easy to get clients. Um, and two, the other point is that knowing your numbers makes any process work. If you know what it costs, for example, it, with our funnel and instead of seven figure systems, this is one of my favorite ways to prospect, even though, again, I'm not romantic about it. You just have to know your numbers. We help you build a funnel that attracts sales calls on autopilot. So if you have revenue that you can spend on a funnel, that's great. We also help you organically, obviously. We not, we're not asking you to spend money on a funnel out the gate. Actually, the two millionaire clients that we've created both still use the organic marketing processes. You know, don't think that it's just paid or just organic. You've got to do a mix of both at the end of the day, okay? So with the funnel, though, you can spend and learn and, and, and realize what your market needs from you and adjust your ad copy, adjust the video in the funnel and everything like that. And eventually you can come up with a cost per call. Once you know what it costs to get a single call on the calendar, all you need to know now is your closing rate. So if you know that it costs you $100 to get a sales call and that you're closing one out of seven of them, well, what does that mean? It costs you $700 to get a client. And if a client pays you anything more than the lifetime value of $700, then you're in the green. Let's say you have a $3,000 consulting offer. You're spending $700 to make $3,000, which means you're profiting $2,300 minus any expenses like delivery or anything, any coaches you have or any experts you have on board to help deliver, whatever it might be, right? So that's the model that we teach because it's extremely numbers driven. That's the nature of running ads for your business is it's numbers driven. With organic, for example, I know for YouTube how many views we have to get to get a call and I know the closing rate of myself and my team. So I know how many views we need in order to scale to the certain revenue goals that we have in mind because I've created a spreadsheet and I've tracked it, right? And you got to do this for every stage of your business. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to scale to the level that you want to scale to. You're going to make emotional based decisions that aren't moving the needle and you're not even going to realize that you're hurting your business more than you're helping it. You're going to think you're helping your business, but you're actually not because unless your decision is directly lined up with what the numbers are telling you to do, it is not what your business needs. So what is the core point of this? The big SMMA lie is that there's the right strategy out there just waiting. And if you buy the next thing, you'll find the right strategy. In reality, you can, you can literally skip working with me and my team if you just understand the power of scaling your offer, building an offer that scales, and knowing the numbers in your business. No other marketer will tell you that. You can literally skip working with my team if you just understand and implement those two things and hold fast to those things for at least three years. 
If you have one offer, you know the numbers that it takes to sell it. You have a scaled prospecting system and your offer scales as well. You build your team, salesmen, appointment setter, delivery people. You can scale to a million a year in just about any niche. So hopefully this makes sense to you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to schedule your call with my team down below. You really do have two options. A, continue to see all of our clients succeed on Instagram, here on YouTube, whatever, and do nothing about it. Or B, take the plunge, get help from people that have been there, done that, and can speed up the process for you and save you tons of money and time in the journey of getting to where you want to get in your business and schedule a call with our team and see if it makes sense for you to get our help. So that being said, I'll see you in the next one.